and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. And today, I'm gonna be going over the brand new Football Outsider cards that just dropped. These typically drop every month. First week of, I'm pretty sure it's the first week of every month on that first Sunday. Well, I shouldn't say the first Sunday. It's like the first Sunday after the first week, I should say, because if the month lands on a Sunday, it's typically not then. So it is the 8th. It typically does end at the first, like sometime around the first end of the week, if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Now, there's quite a few cards. I think there's like maybe close to 10. There was quite a few. I was seeing it on the Football Outsider forum. I have them all on Mudhead, so I'm going to be going over all those cards over there. They're not in the game. For some reason, EA is late to drop the actual pack as per usual but that's only to be expected at this point and we can go over to mudhead and see all the stats guys but before we get into the video as you guys already know it is the 25 days of poop miss it's the daily giveaways that we'll be doing every day from now to the end of december so all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word you will be hearing throughout the video and also make sure to go ahead and like the video and comment down below your console so pretty much it is still 30k like i said we'll be ramping them up as we get closer to the holidays and towards christmas so as we get closest to that point, we will be wrapping up the giveaway. So make sure to enter. Good luck. And guys, as far as football outsiders goes, some of these cards are usually pretty good. Some aren't so great, but they have given us McCall Harbin and a few guys that were pretty, pretty cool. Some cool kickers. So there's a punter and a kicker. So maybe they're a little bit better than the Tucker and the Brett Kern we have. We have to go see all that. Now let's head over to Mudhead to get through all the stats. There's quite a few cards to go over. All right. So the first card that we have is Taron Johnson, 87 overall cornerback for the Buffalo Bills. Now, let's go get into the stats. I'm going to show you guys everything on Mudhead. We got all of the releases on here, so I'll go one by one. It's an 87 overall. Let's see. He had he leads the NFL 1.5 yards allowed per pass target, so it must be pretty good to be doing that. Now, his general, 88 speed, 91 excel, 85 agility. So, the athleticism is solid. Nothing too special, but he is an 87 overall, so we can't expect much more. Now, 82 man, 75 zone, and 81 press. Now, that is not great at all. So, he does not have good coverage stats, and he's only DC. He has, he, his athleticism looked a lot better with good coverage stats but because he does not have good coverage stats then the athleticism doesn't look as, as nice anymore and his run defense he has an 80 pursuit this card overall is a decent card i can't say i'm impressed by any of this i'm surprised someone has a comment on him already now traits all know so nothing here too great taron johnson is decent but again he's not even the best one so we have plenty of more to go over next we got matt skura okay so 87 overall center matt skura for the baltimore ravens he has 62 speed 78 excel 64 agile 85 strength 91 awareness so that's okay it's decent i mean you can't expect much 87 overall now his let's see his block that's got 80 run block 83 run block power 78 run block finesse 83 run block pass block 81 pass block power and 83 pass block finesse now he's got 88 lead block and 89 pack blocking so that's really big especially from the center position that he has the lead in the impact blocking pass block and run block is decent but he is an 87 overall so again we cannot expect that much he's pass protector archetype and character traits high motor or player traits high motor yes let's get over to the next card we got Patrick. Oh, we got Leonard Floyd. All right, you guys remember Leonard Floyd had that ghost of Christmas card last year. That was pretty beastly. Let's see how he's looking on this card. It's the 88 overall for the Chicago Bears, right outside linebacker. He's got 84 speed, 86 excel, 83 agile, 90 jumping, 81 awareness, 81 play rec. So athleticism is decent for an outside linebacker. It really depends on what he does. 83 block shots, decent. 88 pursuit, 88 tackle, 85 hit power. That's really, really solid. 85 finesse move, 78 power move. So he can decently pass rush, decently run stuff, decently hit, decent speed. And no coverage. See, if his coverage was good. If his coverage was good, I'd say he's like a good hybrid linebacker that can kind of do it all at the right outside spot. But he can, he can, he's really more of a pass rusher and a run stuffer, and he's not really even great at that. I really wouldn't recommend this card unless you're like on a Chicago Bears theme team. Now let's get over to the next card. We have Patrick Laird, 88 halfback for the Miami Dolphins. Let's see what he did actually. Fourth among running backs in the. I don't know, the DYAR for weeks 9 and 13. He has 12, 14, 109 yards and 8 first downs. Okay, so he must have something good there. 86 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 67 strength, 82 jumping. Depending on his other stats, that's decent athleticism. I don't know if I'd recommend that. He's got 85 truck, 81 elusiveness, 83 ball carry vision, 81 stiff arm, 80 spin move, 86 juke move, 88 carrying, and 86 break tackle. He's kind of like very well-rounded, decent, like decent at best power. Decent at best moves, decent at best athleticism. Decent card overall, wouldn't really recommend it though. Next we got Javon Hargrave, 89 overall at defensive tackle. Don't kill me if I just said his name wrong. 73 speed at defensive tackle, that's decent. 83 excel is really good. 86 strength is good. 80 jumping is actually pretty good for defensive tackle. 89 awareness and 89 play rec, that's solid. Now 75 block shed, really bad. 86 pursuits, not great. 84 tackle, 82 hit power. 
hit 67 power move 87 finesse move now the finesse move is pretty good considering it is a defensive tackle so he can pass rush but he cannot really run stuff and his hit power is decent average defensive tackle if you're running pittsburgh steelers steam team is probably pretty good honestly but i don't think i'd recommend him to pick up either but we are getting to the better ones as we go on down so things should start to pick up aiden an overall left tackle taylor luan he typically has one of the top left tackle cards in the game. I don't know if he's playing worse this year, but they have not really given him too much love on cards. They're, the Titans were number one in adjusted line yards in November, only two blown blocks. He's got 73 speed, which is solid. 83 to excel, good. 89 strength and 90 awareness. So, so far, the general stats are solid. Let's see the blocking. He's got 82 run block, 80 run block power, 84 run block finesse. Now he's got 85 pass block, 83 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 94 impact blocking, and 91 lead block. So the impact and lead blocking are really, really good. But his run block is not too great, which kind of sucks in the left side of the line. Because if you have a right tackle or a left tackle that's decent at pass or low, if they can't pass block too well or run block too well, you're gonna notice you're gonna notice when the, the overpowered outside linebackers and ends just get in real quick and they can blow up runs, blow up pass plays. Not a great card either, but there's usually some bangers in here, so let's hope we get some. Kenny Moore, 90 overall cornerback for the Indianapolis Colts. He's got 88 speed, 90 excel, 89 agility, 93 jumping, 90 awareness, 90 play rec. So far, this card is solid all around, athleticism-wise, play rec-wise, jumping-wise. Going to be an athletic corner, 84 man, 87 zone coverage, 80 press. So, he's a decent corner to have on your team. 78 pursuit is decent. Now, the only way I can see this card being real beastly is if he's on a cold steam team with all the lockdown job matting caps. So then you could get him to 90 zone threshold, as well as really high man, decent press, good athleticism. Could be pretty decent. Definitely a nice addition to any of you cold steam team guys. Now, let's go to Mike Williams. Mike Williams, 90 overall wide receiver for the Los Angeles Chargers. Probably going to be pretty good, to be honest. He's the jump ball receiver. Yeah, I already can see it. Let's see what he can do. 88 speed. The word for this video is Elf on the Shelf. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video and comment your console. Once you do those things, you are entered to win the giveaway. Good luck. 86 Excel, 83 Agile, 83 Jump, 85 Awareness. Typically, Mike Williams is more like a slightly more athletic Mike Evans in terms of the way Madden usually values him. So, yeah, speed's slightly better. Now, receiving 89 catch is amazing. 90 catch and traffic amazing, 94 spec catch is phenomenal, 84 short route running great, 84 meat route running great, 86 deep route running and 87 release. So, chemmed up properly, he's going to have really great spec catch with go deep and he's going to have decent speed. If he can only, if he was able to be powered up, it would have been a lot better, but still, honestly, overall, a really great card. Now, maybe it could be powered up. I'm not entirely sure. You guys, you guys probably know that. I have never really tried to power up a football side of card. I don't know if they're void of being powered up or if he even has one. But you guys get the point. Not a bad card. Going to be a great jump ball receiver. So if you're on a Chargers team team or you're a budget team, definitely a great card as a jump ball wide receiver for the red zone. He's six foot four. Now let's get to the bigger ones. 91 overall Shaquille Barrett. If you guys don't already know, Shaquille Barrett started up the year terrorizing uh, offensive linemen and quarterbacks. I don't know if he's fallen off a little bit since then, but he led the NFL with 25 carries in November. Yeah, he had an amazing first month, and he also was shutting down Christian McCaffrey, who was a part of the line that shut down McCaffrey that first the first two times they played this year. Now he's got 83 speed for an end. That's really solid. He, oh, outside linebacker, my bad. 88 excel. So great speed, great excel, honestly. 85 awareness, 85 player rep, 84 agility. So far, the upfront stats are amazing. 88 block shed, 91 pursuit, 89 tackle, 88 hit power, 89 finesse move. Okay. Chemmed up properly, this car is going to have block shed threshold, finesse threshold, pursuit threshold, tackle threshold, close to hit power threshold with great athleticism. Guys, this is like this is like baby Lawrence Taylor. This card's honestly really, really good, not gonna lie. This is probably one of the better ones we've seen so far. He's a speed rusher, outside linebacker. He has high motor, yes, defensive line, spin move, yes. He has swim move, yes, and he has strips ball, yes. This card's honestly really solid. I'd honestly I'd recommend this card. Now, as you guys can see from this review, only two ability slots can't get edge start. That does suck that they cannot initially get their third slot. But his stats alone are really, really solid. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty pretty great card. Let's get over to the next one and see what we're working with. Next we have Kirk Cousins, 891 overall. Minnesota Vikings quarterback. 77 speed, 83 excel, 70 agility, 52 strength. 76 jumping now why did i read kirk, kirk cousins athleticism probably was a waste of time but it's still good to read all the stats 77 speed isn't horrible for a kirk card he's not really that mobile he's more beyond the athleticism his throwing stats are decent he's got 86 throw power which isn't that great that's kind of like gonna be the big knock on this card 92 short accuracy is great 88 medium accuracy is decent 87 deep accuracy is decent 83 throw on the run is okay 94 play action is amazing 89 throw under pressure is great 40 break sack is horrible now he does have a base lead again i do not remember if folk blast i just can be powered up but if they can be powered up you can get most of his stats to above 90 minus his throw power maybe it'll come close but 
See, the issue with this card right now, the big dilemma Madden has always been between mobile and pocket passers. Now, always the thing with mobile quarterbacks is like, oh, they have speed, but they can't throw as well as guys like, let's say, Kirk, right? Like a pocket passer. But the issue is when you give a pocket passer like Kirk, 86 throw power, 80 medium accuracy, 87 short accuracy, back, so like, when you give the stats in the 80s, it's hard to justify even wanting to use them. Because guys like Lamar Jackson was like, okay, he's, he's above 90 speed, but his stats are all in the 80s. So then they give us a pocket passer, which that's on the 80s. Now they have a new Lamar Jackson that can pass better than him and run better than him. So if they really want to make a bigger dilemma between pocket passers and if they really want to make it so we have to decide between the two, it's just like a no-brainer for guys like Lamar when you have guys like pocket passers like Brady and Kirk coming out like this. But he's only 91, so I can't knock him entirely. Now on to the next one, we have Riley Dixon, the best punter in the league for the New York Giants, as you guys know. 92 overall, let's see what he's working with. 70 speed, 82 excel. Honestly, pretty good excel for a punter, although I don't plan on running fakes with him. Led NFL with 51.1 average gross punt yards, second with 46.1 average net punt yards in week 9 through 13. He's got 92 kick pal, 89 kick accuracy. Now, if you guys don't want to actually shell out your coins for Ray Guy, you can honestly just pick up Riley Dixon for a much, much more discounted price and probably have a solid punt game. I probably will at some point because I definitely need a new punter. Yes, Trey Wade does deserve an upgrade. I agree. He's been my 82 overall punter for like two years now. Definitely agree with that. Clutch, no penalty. Normal. I really don't punt much this year, but definitely wouldn't be a bad idea to start punting, considering I do blow a lot of games by not punting in short yardage or in far yardage situations where I'm deep in my own end zone. But it is what it is. Now, Will Lutz, we have a new kicker. Let's, oh, I just saw 94 kick pal. 92 overall kicker for the in New Orleans, I was just saying, the Indianapolis Saints, New Orleans Saints. Wow, okay, 71 speed, 79 excel. Not great, but who cares, the kicker. 94 kick power. Wow. 86 kick accuracy. That is a really good kick power. I want to go compare him to the new Adam Vinatieri that just came out. If he is better than Adam Vinatieri, that really does suck that they wouldn't make Adam Vinatieri have a better kick power than a football outsider kicker. He's 11 for 11, including 6 for 6 from 40 plus yards. Now, let's head over to the Madden screen to so compare him to Ray Guy real quick because I'm genuinely curious if this was an upgrade over him. On screen, let's see Adam Vinatieri has a 92 kick power. Okay, so obviously the kick accuracy is important. I know kick accuracy is important, but if you have focus kicker on and you're pretty just like your hand is just slightly stable and you have some coordination, kick accuracy, I, in my opinion, kick accuracy matters more for like windy games or. If you mess up the meter, but if you have focus kicker, it's really hard to mess up the meter. I think I'd rather have Will Lutz with that 94 kick power because he's gonna be able to knock in like some 60 yard field goals. And with good, with high wind in one direction, you could probably knock in like a 60, a, a, above 60 even. So honestly, that's a great pickup. But guys, it is about it for the video. I think I just covered every football outsider card. I do not believe the packs are in Madden yet, as per usual, but that's okay. Because we're used to this. We're, we, we expect this from Madden at this point. We expect for there not to be cards out that should be out. We, we're used to this, guys. That is about it for the video. Make sure to enter 25 days of poop. You should have heard the secret word already. So all you got to do is go back. If you didn't hear it, type in the word. Type in your console down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. And like the video. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win the giveaway. And I did announce the winner in one of my other videos. Or it was this video. I don't remember. But either or. Make sure you check out those videos for the winner from yesterday, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.